Hey family, what's happening? I'm just out here, hanging by the water, thinking. It's one of my favorite places to be is by the water. So my mind get to going. So I said, let's just hit the button. Because I was just thinking about, you know, in life, we have a lot of different experiences. A lot of moments in life that we just wonder, why did that happen? Like, where did that come from? And a lot of those moments, it's, it's, it's a, a moment where someone has come to us with something. They've given us some instruction. They've given us something to do. They are they disciplining us or they are giving us some correction or it's 415. I get off at 430 and you want to put this on my lap. It's Friday. Don't you know it's the weekend? I'm about to get up out of here and you will come with this mess. Here's my challenge for you. Don't look at it as mess. It might be a little tough. Especially if it's 415 on a Friday and you get off at 430. Might be a little tough. But the one thing that we need to start working on, because again, what we're trying to do, we're just trying to get a little bit better every day. So my challenge for you is when those things happen, when that supervisor come at you with that at 415 on a Friday and you get off at 430. Or the kids at home, or your spouse at home, or someone that you know that's coming to you with some foolishness, and they coming at you sideways with the foolishness. I know the reality is that our flesh is going to rise up real quick, right? So the challenge is number one. Try to keep that flesh in control. Boy, that's hard. I already know that's going to be a hard one right there. <laughs> Woo! Boy, that's going to be tough. That's the first thing. That's one thing I want you to think about. Second thing I want you to do is think about what's really the message. What's really happening with this that's coming at me? Why are they coming at me this way? Why are they choosing this time to come at me with this? And I'm talking about those moments that can be challenging. Now, we already know how to handle the good moments. That's not even the issue. But even in the good moments, in all these moments, there's something for us to learn. There's something for us to gain. There's some wisdom for us to gain. There's some understanding for us to gain. And if we're not careful and we act out of flesh and we let the flesh win out, we'll mess around and miss what was meant for us to get out of it. There's some knowledge and some wisdom that we're supposed to be getting out of those moments, but we miss it because they came at me a way that I didn't appreciate. And I get it. Totally understandable. Somebody comes at you in a disrespectful manner. I'm not telling you to embrace that because I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm going to be <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm going to pass that test okay but when we get our moment just to chill out when we get our moment to come off of that high we get our moment just to mellow out a bit there might be a message in there I know it might be. I'm almost sure that's going to be a message in there that you were supposed to get out of that. Because the reality is, he already know. He know you. He know that person or the people that you encountered that situation with. He know all y'all. He, he was already in the midst of all of that. Like spaghetti. He all intertwined. He already know what's going on. But he's just wondering how you going to handle that. And are you going to get out of it what you're supposed to get out of it? This is all about us trying to grow, trying to get better. And situations that come across our table or come in, in our life that we do not expect. There is something for us to get out of that. 
And I'm just encouraging you today to try to find that message because there's some wisdom, there's some knowledge of it. See, wisdom is something that, and I've, you know, many of y'all been following me here over the last month. I've been uh, in, the, in First Kings talking about Solomon, who was the wisest king, the wisest king of them all. And so now I just started dipping over into Proverbs because he was the one that wrote most of Proverbs. He didn't write all of it. He wrote most of it. And if you start reading Proverbs, you got a lot of meat and potatoes up in there that you can that you can that you get that you can eat on and they can help you as you move forward in this thing called life. Right. There's something for us to learn. There's an excellent opportunity right there to get some meat and potatoes out of Proverbs. But I went over to start reading Proverbs because, again, we want to get knowledge. But in getting knowledge, we also need some wisdom to go along with that. We want the wisdom to go along with that knowledge because wisdom is going to tell you when to do it. It's going to tell you where to do it, how to do it. It's going to tell you when not to do it. It's going to tell you when, when to stop. It's going to help you be in control of the knowledge that you have received. But also understand along with that, getting that knowledge, sometimes... You're going to have to take some medicine that don't taste too well, which means you're going to need some correction along the way. Sometimes you're going to have somebody that's going to come up against you and give you some discipline. Like that supervisor on the job that you already don't care much for. Sorry, but you there for a reason. That's another whole story for another day, but you get direction, you get some discipline you get some understanding you get whatever is meant for you to get you want to get it why because you you should be trying to be better than what you already are and in the process of you trying to be better than you already are you're going to need some direction you're going to need sometimes you're going to have to get your behind whooped a little bit not physically but you know what i mean <laughs> sometimes we have to get that discipline so that we can get the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding that we need because that wisdom is something we want to wear that like a coat like what I need right now because it's getting windy and chilly out here <laughs> but we want to wear that like a badge of honor we want to wear wisdom we want to wear put it on like a coat so that we have it on us so it help us through these different situations and something else that we can get out of those situations, especially when somebody come at you sideways or come at you in a way that you really don't appreciate. You might want to take that opportunity to say, you know what? OK, I got the message out of it, but the way they package that message to me, I didn't really appreciate that too much. So that means you might have to go back and have a sit down conversation with them and handle that and deal with that because what you don't want to have is some unforgiveness to take root and that cause some other problems down the road you don't want that that could be something else for you to learn because now the way they came at you now you understanding how you felt <coughs> excuse me so the next time when it's your turn to have to go give correction when it's your turn to have to go address somebody else you know how to go do it because you know that ain't the way to do it because you know how you felt when they did you that way. So I'm just out here. This is what happens when I get by the water. I get excited. Because I already get excited when it's time to encourage. But then you put me by the water, my mind gets to going, and I, 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 my mind is going so fast right now, my mouth can't really keep up. But I just had to come out here and just hit the button and say, hey, learn, get understanding, get wisdom. Sometimes it means you have to be disciplined. That's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. And your age does not matter whether or not you get disciplined or not. Because it's about learning. It's about being better every day. Getting better every day. I just want to be just a little bit better tomorrow than I am today. Hopefully today I was a little bit better than I was yesterday. So we keep pushing. We keep driving. We keep going. And sometimes that means we're going to have to be disciplined. No, I don't feel good. No, I don't taste good. No, it's going to be embarrassing. 
but it didn't kill you. It's just making you better. So accept it, embrace it, because now it's giving you the wisdom that you need so that you can be that much better. So now you can make a better difference in somebody else's life. Because one thing you don't want to do is be the blind leading the blind. And then you wonder why both of y'all in the pit. It's no good for both of y'all, but it's no good for you not to get the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding that you need so that you can lead somebody else in the right direction. But if you don't have it, how are you going to lead them in the right direction? That means sometimes you got to go through some things that don't feel good. You got to get some understanding. You got to get some, you got to get your head cracked a little bit. You got to get your feelings hurt a little bit. It's okay. This is big boy and big girl sports out here. Let's play the game the right way. All right? Love you. As I always tell you, pray, plan, prepare, proceed. Go make it do what it do. I'm going to see you later.